fellow furniture dorks. Um, I am Melissa with the Rave Home Staging and Rave Home Collection. And I got my sidekick, Sue, over here. Teresa, again. I don't know why the lady keeps thinking she can just take days off. It's like she's writing the schedule or something. Yeah. Anyway, Teresa has abandoned us again. I mean, considering we hurt her on Monday. Yeah, I guess she gets to have a little extra time. I guess she thinks she gets some R&R. &R. Well, I don't know. But anyway, today is Fab Furniture Friday, and we are going to be making over this piece. And I tried to look for raised stencils, but I don't really have any appropriate stencils for raised stencils right now. So I'm going to need to order some. But I thought that it would be fun to still use stencils on furniture to showcase how um, kind of how it looks and how you can transform a piece. So this is a piece that's been in my staging inventory for many years. Have you noticed a trend that on Fab Furniture Friday, I tend to be pulling out all the pieces that have come from staging once upon a time. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. So anyway, this was a lot of fun and it was a great piece, but it's kind of gotten some some dings and scratches and what have you along the way. It's an old piece, man. This thing definitely is from the 30s. Yeah, and it's still got the great, it's still got its original wheels on it. So it's kind of nice. It's got yeah. the original fasteners on it, which are old school. What does that even mean? Oh, they're a pain in the butt. That's what that means. <laughs> so anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to transform this with Dixie Belle paint. Um, Sue is going to be basing, doing most of the base color. We're going to use Dixie Belle's drop cloth. So it's actually going to be a very similar color. Um, what we're actually going to do is take the drawers to the drop cloth, and then I'm going to add cheetah. Cheetah stencils, JRV stencils, and then I'm going to do a little enhancing with the JRV stencils with a little bit of a kernel mustard. Interesting. So we're going to have a good time with this piece. We better get to painting because there's a lot to be done. Yeah, we have done. already taken the hardware off. We did. We did do that. That so, was the pain in the butt. That was the pain in the butt. Um, so we've already taken the hardware off. It wasn't, you can see in the before picture that I posted on Instagram, um, kind of what it looks like before. It's nothing, it's nothing particularly interesting. I'll probably need to get some new hardware for oh, definitely it. Definitely new hardware. Yeah, because this old hardware was painted over and frankly, it's not that a pain in the butt. It is a pain in the butt, as she's already said. So she's going to get to the base painting and I'm going to also get to base painting, I guess. And we are going to be using our, our Klingon brushes. Our Klingon brushes, that's right. Um, it's good to know that you're paying attention. I am paying attention. So um, Klingon we love because they more or less clean themselves. If you do it the right way, they clean themselves. Yeah, you have to keep them in clean water, not dirty water. Not dirty water. I'm always you're... changing out that bucket because we paint everything. everything. Um, and you do have to get, so most of the bulk of the paint is out. You can't just like go from dipping it in paint and sitting in the water and expect it to clean itself. You gotta, you gotta rinse most of the gunk. I'm out just going to say, if... If you're painting a lot, and well, we paint a lot, you get a lot of dried up gunky paint right in here, clean that off. Clean it, scrape it, clean it. But otherwise, these little suckers, they, they're clean. They're, when you grab it, it's, oh, it's yeah. going. So that's pretty fabulous. So I am gonna grab a chair, because I didn't do that. Uh, I wasn't sure what you wanted for a chair. Um, yeah, I would use the little rolling one like you've got, but I don't know where it is. I think uh, Teresa put it back in her little paint area. Oh, that makes sense. So, stole um, it from us. I'm going to start grabbing these little small drawers. I've gotten pushed in somehow. I love these brand new bottles. They're so goofy. I'm gonna oh, get these out. super goofy. And most of the time I paint the drawers in the piece, but because I'm going to be stenciling these, I am just going to be taking them out, that way I'm also, actually, you know what, let me paint them in and then I'll take them out to stencil. That'll be easier. Are you sure? Am I ever sure? <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, you're watching. All right, we'll stop talking about you. Will we, will we? How's Stevie feeling today? She doesn't know, she pulled him off on the back. Should be home by now. Oh, is he no, home? Oh, he stays overnight. He stays overnight. Oh. And before anybody worries, TV is her dog. Getting which is like family. Done. But he's a little boy, and he's a year old, and that means certain things need to get done now. It's time. It's time, young man. It's time. Got to learn about the birds and the bees and the fact that you won't get to be a part of this. No, no more birds and bees for him. 
other than enjoying them outside in the fresh nature. So you can see that even though I'm going over black, I have great coverage. Um, because of what I'm going to be doing on these drawers, I may not even do a second coat. Because this is such good coverage. I gotta say, it's a very nice color. Yeah, drop cloth, I love drop cloth. I've, I've done drop cloth on a couple of tables now um, as the base color, and I really like it. So I'm just kind of going over where it's already been painted. Well, last week, our Fab Furniture Friday piece, the armoire we did, sold the very next day. So I like that trend. Let's, oh, let's keep that, that trend going. All right, he hasn't gone under yet. What's what? The dog, he hasn't gone under he hasn't yet. gone under yet, huh? Stevie is later this afternoon, so we'll keep good thoughts about him. Keep him healthy. Make, make sure he doesn't know that it's happening. He's a good boy. He'll just have to wear the color chain a few days. <laughs> That's always good entertainment right there. Teresa, something you can get pictures of. And and um, we had to go buy the blow-up cone of shame for our dogs when they got fixed. Yeah, they did not. Well, we have these gate <laughs> we have gates in our house because um, Zoe Zoe was a rescue and she spent most of her life in a cage. And so we have problems with her peeing in the house. Um, and so she likes, she prefers to pee in the house on the carpet than in the grass. Who wouldn't? Um, I mean, I prefer to pee inside than outside, but you know, I want the dog to pee outside. So we have to put, we have to put um, gates all through the house and poor Zoe couldn't get through the gates with the cone on. Oddly enough, Teresa wants to know why we didn't choose to, to paint any chairs today. Um, no, no. Mm -hmm. You got lucky and I painted five of those for you last Friday. That's true, after, after hours, we were painting away. Or Saturday or whatever day it was. I wasn't doing any of the chairs. No, you were doing the wall. Oh, speaking of the wall, Oh, look at our beautiful camera. wall. You can't see it right now. Oh, oh, let's get that. We've got to get our beautiful wall. We have it up there, and then we don't even put it in there. All right, can you see it? Ta-da! Look how nice that is. It's backwards to them right now because they didn't oh. turn the camera around. But you get well, the idea. Anyway. It's not actually backwards. I just got to flip the camera on next time we go live because I forgot about that. Yeah, wait, 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 are we back down in the right spot? Yep. My husband did ask me, did you want did you want the sign backwards so it's facing the right way in the camera? I'm like, no, I can just turn the camera around, but then I forgot. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then John wants us to let you know that it was Vince Tan, a friend of his in his little karate class. Yeah. little karate class, like it's there a bunch of children in his karate class. And uh, fast signs, they did a great job. They did. They did all the signs around our building, which is nice. Yep, they did the signs in the front windows and in the front door and um, when you first come in. They've been great to work with. <laughs> all right, she says that the, the vet sent him home with anti-anxiety meds, or will be sending him home with anti-anxiety meds. So she's not sure if it's for Stevie the dog or for herself. Yeah, I was just going to ask, are the meds for you or for the dog? Because I have a feeling they're more for you. Because I love you and I and I respect that, but I know you too. You're a little she, anxious. She might like deep flavored mints. All right, so I'm getting the sides, and you're getting the front. I just can't give those beef flavored mints to Teresa. I mean to Heather. To Heather. As long as it's just flavor and not real beef. <laughs> Am I painting the top too? What are we doing to the top? Uh, the top is going to be black still, so I right. won't worry about that last because we're kind of using it for a catch-all at the moment. All right. Oh. Oh. Moving everything over here so you can yell at me in a minute. Well, I love to yell at Sue, so that sounds like a plan. 
right. Just cable is at the wrong spot. Yeah. Now it isn't. Now it isn't. See how quickly that was adjusted. Yeah. That I can do quickly. Actually, finding these cables, I can't do it all. Yeah, we were supposed to be on YouTube again today. Um, still having technology challenges. And it's, it's all me this time. I am just not technology savvy. You know, I used to do the AV club and stuff back in school, way back in the day. I went to college for all this TV stuff. But all these cables have changed from what I know. And boy, are they tricky. And then they come up with, like, you know, all these different sizes with the same USB this and the USB that size. And it's like, come on, people. Why can't we just keep things uniform? Because there's money to be made. I get it. Well, and we just tra transferred over to Shopify in the store. And I ordered new iPads. And I had no idea that now the new iPads actually have a different adapter, too. <laughs> So when I ordered adapters for USB adapters for the iPads, now they're the wrong USB adapters because they no longer use the lightning cable. It's exhausting. You should know that with, with Apple, they change like every other year. It's exhausting keeping up. Fun in leopard print. So I was hoping I'd only have to do one coat. I'm definitely gonna have to do two. It's oh, got it's really dry. good coverage, but as it's drawing, I can see too much of the dark underneath. you I will not make you do stencils today. I do sometimes make you do transfers and things like that, but I will not I will not trick you into the stencils. I mean I will try stencils one of these days. But preferably not live? Not no not live. These people have seen me with enough accidents. But maybe if I could show you everybody <laughs> feels like they're good, they could try. What am I Mikey? Yeah, you're Mikey. You actually kind of are Mikey. <laughs> Is it because I'll eat anything? It really is, yes. So good fruit. You don't really like fruit. I eat my grapes. That's fruit. And I practically had to force it to try to peel my pies. Oh, thank God you did. I saw a Schwartz truck on the side of the road the other day. I almost stopped to help him with his, you know, key lime pies. <laughs> you don't want them melting on the side of the road. Has anybody else had a Schwann's key lime pie? Oh, very good. They're so good. I love keeping Schwann's when the kids are teenagers. Very handy. We love our Schwann's man. You know, I feel like I'd see them more often. Maybe make them banking through the COVID. Wouldn't they? That's what I was just wondering. I wonder how they're doing because I would imagine they're bringing out full-on meals to people. Why are they not in my neighborhood? Schwans, why are you not in my neighborhood? They are in your neighborhood. You just haven't seen them there. Well, that's because I never home. Probably it. I'm going to have to see what we can do about that. But, but I like Schwans. I also like their um, Mexican pizzas. The Mexican pizzas are really good. Ugh. Cables, cables everywhere. Let me move this out of the way. 
I am not a pizza loyalist. I'm good with a variety of toppings on my pizza. As long as they're not onions or peppers. The good ones. Or jalapenos. The good ones. Well, I don't like jalapenos. Or fish. Yeah, that I don't understand. Sometimes I wonder if it's just that game. No, because people put anchovies. Those are fish. Well, that is a fish. A salty fish. And that's gross. But then again, <laughs> I like bacon and pineapple, so I'm sure people are probably thinking I'm a weirdo. But just, you know, that's all right. I just like Hawaiian. Bacon. Better than Hawaiian. It is. Well, bacon. I'm going to say, having lived in Hawaii, that bacon and pineapple, far more Hawaiian than um, Canadian bacon. You did not have a lot of Canadian bacon in Hawaii, but you did have a lot of bacon in Hawaii. I'm surprised they don't have a spam pizza. Like yet. a pork, a nice pork. So Anita, pizza. thank you for joining us. Uh, who else is joining us? What's going on? What are you doing fun this weekend? Teresa is usually the one asking all the questions. I get lost without her. I'm the serious one. I need my the world to my party. What is it? The the Abbott to my Costello? No, I'm the. I need the Costello to my Abbott. I'm Abbott, right? Abbott. Yeah, I'm Abbott. I need the Costello to my Abbott. We're old, so we know who that is. Not that we were around when they were around, but just saying. That was like my favorite Saturday afternoon TV. Especially the one with the mummy and the Oh, really all the monsters and stuff? Yeah. That's a very popular one. That may have spurned my, my initial love of, uh, of monster movies. Abbott and Costello. That's kind of funny. In its own weird little way. In its own little weird way. That's me. How are you looking with your two coats? Oh, my two coats are looking great. I think I'm just about ready to, to pull these doors out and get a little stencil. I'm going to move the camera for that. I am liking the two coats. And when I just stretch back and see the black under there, I'm going to like that a lot. And you'll be doing the front once I'm doing the drawers. What? Just trying to figure out what I'm going to run into now if I drive like a maniac on this one. If y'all pay furniture and don't have a little scooty, get yourself a little scooty. Yeah, I picked mine up at Uline, but they sell them at like Harbor Freight and stuff. Anyway, I think they're more like a mechanic chair. Mechanic chair. Yeah, it was great though. I'm gonna move you guys in so you can see a little closer while I stencil. You should go to up close today. Ooh, you guys are gonna see stuff today. Gonna learn about the swirlies. I learn about the swirlies. Not the kind you got in high school. Yeah. Hopefully not the kind in high school, because I'm not about to demonstrate that. Okay. okay, so I have my my drawer, obviously. There we go, that's better. And this is my JRV stencil. This is my cheetah pattern. And so it's a little bit tough around, kind of around this section. But I'm going to make sure this starts off and what we're going to do is kind of try and make it repeating a little bit. I don't think it's an exact repeat. So it won't be identical. It doesn't have but to be perfect for cheetahs. It doesn't. That's one of the great things about cheetah is it does not. So I have my caviar here. And I'm just going to dip a little bit. I actually have way too much 
Um, I'm gonna actually take that and just kind of put it on the plastic over here, just because I have a big bucket down here and it'll be easier for me. And then I'm gonna take most of this and I'm gonna offload it on my paper towel. And then I'm gonna start, I'm gonna hold this down and I'm gonna start off of the, on the plastic part, not in the holes. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna start swirling and I'm gonna swirl my way onto the holes. Swirling, 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 swirling. swirling, swirling. swirling. Okay, so you can see I'm just swirling. And it's important that you don't have a ton of paint. And what I like about this is this is actually gonna give me sort of a gradient version where it's gonna be, some of these little speckles are gonna be darker than others, and I'm okay with that. Um. All right, you do know you made like painting the front of this thing impossible while you're doing this. Well, you can take the drawers out if you want. No, I can't. Why? Because the camera thing is in the way. Oh. Well, we can move that. I don't want to disturb the viewing. So and you can see how clean that's going to be. It's done. So just lay down. This thing's even got its old tiny wheels on there. I know. Like wooden wheels. Which, you know, I try to move it out here. It took two of us to move it out because it's on wheels. And the old tiny wheels are not great at steering. Oh, not to mention they'll break. They're so old, they'll just snap. Don't be moving it around. Well, I didn't have a choice. Don't I had be to doing move that. it. I tried to put it on sliders and I kept rolling off the sliders. So I'd have Jake come help me. Jake, Jake from State Farm. I'm sure he gets tired of that after a while. Yeah. I'm probably. <laughs> we did promise to buy him the mug. Then we have to give him coffee every day. I'm okay with that. I think you are okay with that. Well, we do have a coffee maker. Maybe we just an need espresso machine. In here. We have a coffee maker now. We just need somebody to actually make the coffee in the maker. I'm gonna pull this sticker off the back. Okay. I don't think anybody needs our inventory control numbers on there. Probably not. Can you hear me pouncing on the? I've got the lid to the container over here, and I was just sort of offloading some of it on there. Some of my plastic is getting way far away on that side. I'm gonna get you another uh, piece of paper towel. See how easy this is coming along? So has anybody else tried stenciling on furniture? or anything else? Do you like stenciling? Did you stencil back in, is anybody old enough that they stenciled back in the 80s when stenciling borders and such was super popular? I remember the very first house we bought, that was actually in the 90s, the late 90s, because Lily was born. Um, I stenciled the walls um, to most of the house, actually. I just hit there's a couple little areas that are juicy near the middle where it was raised from this part. You're just going to hit that with the dryer so I don't actually smudge it. And then I'm going to move and I'm going to try to find a basic duplicate area my glasses on. So this should be a repeating pattern. You just gotta find the repeat. Oh, this is just interesting. This is like a puzzle. I love it. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Go this way. Go right here. Put that right there. Oh. Boom. Hang on. I'm good with puzzles. There you go. So you found the repeat. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on the repeat. Don't worry if it's not exact. It's close enough. After all, it's a cheetah print. Nobody will even know. I'm curious to see what you're going to do with the yellow color, though. So, ooh. Ooh. There we go. Got that there. Whoops, I left a little blob. 
to fix that. That is a little blocked. It was underneath my stencil, apparently. Mm. So that's okay. Oh, yeah, there's a whole little juicy area over there. That's okay. It's good to see how mistakes happen sometimes so we can show you how you fix them. So I have I have a a thin brush. I'm just gonna get most of the juice of that off of there. So this you do obviously need to be careful when you're using your brush. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. I'm gonna get you another one. So I can do that. Let me go do that real quick. Entertain. 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 It's I didn't realize too I'd throw plastic on that table and when I set this down I found the plastic of course and melted on the tip of the heat gun. So now I'm going to take the base color and just get some on my base color and I'm just going to go in and fill it in. When we sand later, you won't even be able to see it. It won't be lumpy or bumpy. There won't be anything wrong with it at all. It's really easy to fix any small errors, even big errors. But that's what happened because the underside of my brush, where I was working here probably, um, I was having some issues because this is this is raised. Oops, I didn't mean to dip it in that far. I think you wasn't. Well, that's so bad. You can still smell it, right? Oh yeah, I can smell it. I guess. Yeah, could be worse. Could be worse. It's been worse. We've had worse. Get to the craftsman. I think that was just a little bit quieter anyway. All right, let me remove the plastic. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to do with the yellow. And I'm probably not going to have time to do all of the cheetah print first. So I'm going to go ahead and show it to you step by step. First, I want to kind of address this up here because I prefer it not to be completely devoid of any cheetah life. I want it to match a little better. So I'm just going to up here and just do a little I'm gonna pounce this time just because where I'm trying to reach is more difficult to swirl so this is when I pounce there we go a little pouncing pouncing is great when your when your surface is not where it's not able to lay down there we go Casting. oh haha <laughs> I'm just seeing the chat and I see Teresa is responding to my comment about her being anxious. Yes, we love you, dear, but you are a little anxious sometimes. We love you just the way you are, but yes, you are an anxious person. Right, Jake? Yes. Yes. Okay, so there, now, my, now I'm feeling really good about my cheetah print. So with a little bit of water, I'm going to take, I've got my kernel mustard. I've got a little bit of paint in my cap and I'm going to spray some water on it. And then with a fine liner brush, I'm just going to twirl like I normally do, right? Twirl and get that, get that on there. This isn't even a super fine, but I'm going to twirl so that it gets on there, right? And then I'm going to work on not every single one of these because I lose my mind, but I'm gonna work on some of these on adding just a little bit of gold detail. And it's okay if it goes over the black. And again, don't do all of them. You might lose your mind. This will give it a little bit more of a true cheetah pattern feel. What do you think, Sue? I think it's looking pretty neat. 
not able to do the front. I'm debating about moving your, your yeah, camera. You probably need to move the camera, hun. And chop to it. Chop, chop, chop right, to it. Well, we're going flying. I'm going to take you on a little whirlwind tour. Whoa. Let's go that way. How's that? Um, yeah, looks good. I can move to accommodate the view. Hello. Too. Kind of surprised for something this age. And then the little, the little bolty things that are such a pain in the butt, they're all brass. Hmm. Love old stuff. Love it. Love it's true. She really does love old stuff. You should see her. She when she talks about like um, dumpster diving, she literally means in the dumpster. Good stuff to be fed. In our old warehouse for staging, um, we used to have a suitcase manufacturer across the way from us. They made trunks. They made trunks. And every once in a while, I'd find that she'd gone and talked to them and and she was told she they couldn't let her take anything out, but there was nobody there at night. So... Yeah, they all, they all went home at 5 o'clock, so if you happened to be in there after 5 o'clock, it wasn't a problem. But they can't let you do it. But after 5 o'clock, nobody's there paying attention. So needless to say, Sue was there after 5 o'clock. They got some great stuff. In their dumpsters. They hadn't cleaned out their warehouse in probably 50 years. And they were doing a complete overhaul of their warehouse. So they had some old trunks that they were getting rid of. Parts to old trunks that they were getting rid of. They got some uh, big old baggage carts that they had left out. Those suckers are heavy. I gotta pull out and clean up now because I still have them. Yep, at home. Uh, in the dirt at home. They were only supposed to stay for a short time and then be brought into our other store. For Isn't it looking cool? For display. I never made it to the other store for display. No, we had all kinds of plans with them, but best laid plans of mice and men. Now we have a Nicholas. Now we have a Nicholas who could do all kinds of beautiful displays. Of course, we still need him working on some of the staging furniture too, but yeah. so we have to be careful how much we use him But for the store. But he has been making odd repairs to things and getting things ready for us. It's been very helpful. And, okay. and it's funny because I'll see when I go look at pictures from staging jobs or go do a tour of a staging job, I'm like, where did we get this piece of furniture? And then I'll realize that it used to be a different color and now it looks completely and totally different. That is so true. I noticed that as well. I was like, when did we get new furniture? I haven't been shopping for furniture for staging all year. What's happening? So I haven't needed to with COVID. Normally this time of the year, I'm like clearing out stores like ours um, from all their furniture. People walk in. I know Lennon and Russ this time of year, everybody's like, are you guys going out of business? No, we've just sold everything to the staging company. But, you know, little stores like us, they, they were happy when we needed to shop. Absolutely. You definitely get the red carpet treatment when you're going to buy half their store. It's like, tell your furniture artists, we're coming next week. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'd message them, I'm like, I need 10 consoles by Friday. When can you get them to me? I need them just neutral colors. Whatever they have, neutral colors, please. This is my budget. It's funny how fast you, they can get things in when you say things like that. Okay, so I like that drawer. What do you think? Like it? It's pretty cool, huh? It's looking pretty neat. What are you gonna do with the little cabochon thing on the front there? Um, I'm probably gonna put some 
uh, wax on it. So go find some like a gilded wax, like gilded yeah. wax. Oh, neat! I like those. I think those are one of the funnest things we've gotten in that I've had opportunity to play with. Yeah, I can't seem to find them, so this will have to be. Oh, there they are. We just keep moving stuff around. That we certainly do. In our attempts to organize, we tend to disorganize first. I mean, I'm channeling my Kasha. <laughs> you put gold on. Yeah. My inner Kasha. Oh, that piece we watched her do the other night. I kind of like that one. Yeah, with the rust? Yeah. Eventually, I'll get my side tables done. So I learned a lot. So we'll see if I, it's stuck. I don't expect that I'll ever be as good as her, but I do want to try. So when can I have another drawer? They're all behind you. Are oh, they are? Seems like they're making a mess. They are. Whatever. Do you know? They are right behind me. So they are behind you. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna try to make sure I got no wet spots. Right. Oh. I'm just gonna start off the edge here. Connie wants to know what you are painting on the cheetah print. I was painting with a little kernel mustard. I was just making the yellow. Like if you actually look at a cheetah print, which I did before we came online, um, I looked up cheetah print. It actually has usually like a ring around it. And so I decided I would go ahead and do that ring. And that's what I came up with the yellow. So you'll see it, Sue's working on the front and I'll get at least a couple of these drawers done so you can kind of see what it's gonna look like in there and get where I can distress a couple of these drawers. So you'll get an idea of what the bigger drawers will look like also. It's gonna be a cool piece. Certainly not for everybody's house, not for everybody's taste, but it's a fun way to Judge it, it up. Hey, wait, where's our t shirt demo? <laughs> I'm talking to you. Anna's got the, Anna's zhuzh it, got up the shirt. zhuzh it up shirt on today. And it's a pretty darn awesome shirt. So I feel like we're super quiet today. What's happening, man? Everybody ready for the weekend? Yes. I feel like I've been exhausted this week. I don't know what it is. See, I'm not an anti-pouncer. I just believe there's better times for pouncing than others. Around those openings is definitely a better time for pouncing. I just signed up for the uh, turquoise irises creative connection group. I'm excited about that. That should be a good one. And uh, she's already issued her first challenge to the group. Uh, I shouldn't say that. Apparently they do it every month, but this is my first month there. So it's your all, first challenge. So it's, so it's my first challenge. It's an already for me, probably not for everybody else. Um, and she is challenging us all to do, to paint a piece of furniture using something that is not used to paint furniture. So any ideas out there? Sue's idea was to use a potato, doing like a potato stamp. Okay. And I'm not nixing that idea. I'm just wondering if anybody else has any other ideas. <laughs> You're looking for something better than my beautiful idea. I'm just looking for options. Mm -hmm. So obviously she is known for using a palette knife. That's true. What? A broom. A broom. A broom. That could be some very interesting uh, stripies on there. Interesting, interesting. See, the only thing I could think of was a fork. Fork, okay. A spoon. Silverware, it's the dinner, it's the dinner. <laughs> the dinner dresser. There we go. Yeah, the pouncing definitely worked better around the hardware. 
let's see. So there is a time and a place for the pounce. There is a time and a place for the pounce. I, I have never said anything different. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of drawing, so I do apologize if anybody hates that sound. This is the quieter one, so. I need this a little closer because I can't see so far away to match. Do I need to remove the camera with you? I'm trying to find the match for the patch. Oh, that was not good. There we go. Now it kind of blocks this corner of my... Sorry, I'll work around. You know what? I'm like, I'm worried. No, I really do kind of want it to match up as much as possible. Gunny says you never cease to amaze me. Me? Why so? What is so amazing? What is so is amazing? It, is it her intricacy to the detail of the yellow? Hey, I'm just happy it's not like our Jaguars. We've no, but you could that. definitely do this with the Jaguar with the colors. Jaguar colors. That is, that's true, you could. You definitely could. If you're a Jaguars fan, this is totally something you could pull off and make it team colors. You could do it on the on the entire outside bar area where you're They're excited not to even worry about matching it up. I just kind of got it where most of the holes were filled and it'll totally be fine. Okay, so now we're gonna go back again. I have my Colonel Mustard. In the library. In the library the with the candlestick. How about painting with the... Uh... Q-tips? Yeah. You couldn't see her, but she was doing this. I was. She was. So I'm going to spray my lid so that I make it a little more watery. So it's a little more like ink. And then I'm just gonna go right over it and just start painting. It's your, intri your intricacy to details of everything. And then I'm just gonna start adding my little, my little lines. And again, you don't have to do it on every one. This should be fast and easy. This is not about trying to create perfect lines. It's just about adding a little bit more color, a little bit more interest, making it a little less one dimensional. And you could use any color in the world. You could, absolutely. But you could totally do this to match the Jags. I didn't even think about that. If I had thought about it, I might've done that. Well, let's switch it out. No. <laughs> Too far in already. Sorry. I tried. I tried, people. And not that I'm a big fan of the Jags, but I'm not an anti fan either. I just. You're not a sports I person. do not care about sports in any way, shape, or form. I do not understand the appeal. It's fun. You like competition. I don't understand why you don't like watching competition. Maybe because I was never picked for it in school. That it, you were last on the team. I was always like, last on the team. I mean, probably rightfully so. I'm not particularly coordinated. <laughs> you know, I love to watch Big Brother. We've been watching Big Brother. Um, and, and the only thing I would do well at are the mental competitions. I could be good, pretty good at the mental competitions. I don't know. Could you remember all the details of, of whatever it was? They have to remember all the details, which is everything. I don't know, I did pretty good last night when we were watching and I could say true or false or before or after or whatever. I was doing pretty good at that. Oh, I'm terrible at that. I, you know, and it would be easier if you're living it because, you know, you're living it, I'll say. So you were playing in those comps or you were watching those comps or you were head of household or whatever. I love the psychology of shows like that. Um, I love almost any show that has psychology in it. I think it's really fascinating. You can see you can get through this really fast. It's much easier to do it this way with it on its side, I think, 
then trying to do it with the dresser, you know, with the drawer in the oh, dresser. Oh, definitely. Work with gravity, not against it. So having the opportunity to have this up here while she's working down there, so much better for this, for me trying to do this. But I just think that the yellow is way more interesting than without it. I have no happy little clouds. I have no happy little trees or waterfalls. No cats were harmed in the making of this print. But we would certainly love the opportunity to pet them. But we would certainly love the opportunity to pet them for sure. But I, you know, I can remember when John and I first got married and we were in Idaho Falls, because that's where he was stationed in the Navy. And we went to this one place and they had where you could pet baby tigers. And I remember being there and the mom was so angry. She was pacing in her cage because the cubs were crying. And I remember feeling so bad. All I wanted to do was grab those babies and take them back to mom. <laughs> So I would not put them at that expense. You know, we don't like to anamorphize our animals and think that they have human feelings, but come on, a mother and its baby. You don't separate them. Yeah, the baby was just crying and crying and crying. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to put the gold on there. I forgot to touch up my hardware here with cream and, do you have the drop cloth down there? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna get a different brush for this, actually. Just about done with my second coat on the front. How do you like it? I, I like, like the color it. a lot. I love it. I want some more. Oh no, I'm singing again. I've got country tunes stuck in my head today, and I don't know why. That's very weird because we don't listen to country. I used to, and they're all coming back. They're all coming right back in. I had to. I had. I had to tell myself while I was driving today. Um, by Manon, because that's supposed to flush your mind of any, you know, earworms. earworms. And it worked, because I stopped singing that other one, so. But then you got another one. Now I've got a new one. Can I have the e-cub? Uh, maybe. It's coming up around that side. Quiet for us. Hey, did you want to tell everybody what we are thinking of doing on Friday evenings? Oh, we're going to do a, um, so there's two things. Um, every other week, starting soon, I'm not quite sure when, we've got to get the staffing. We have two new staff people starting on Monday, so that'll help. But every, every other Friday, we will be doing um, open paint night here. Um, and then the other Friday, we are going to be doing unboxing of fashion. So, ooh, I like that. You're fun. That is fun. Fashion unboxing. How are we doing on time? We're doing pretty good. I'm gonna. Good I'm going to lightly sand these. Would you grab me that sandpaper that's over there? You're gonna do it by hand, are you? I'm gonna do them, yeah, because I don't. I don't want to do too much. So before I move on to another drawer, I want to go ahead and sand these down so you can, and then we'll move the camera so you can kind of see. What they're gonna look like. So I'm just gonna lightly sand. Remember I had black under here. So I'm just gonna kinda lightly sand. I wanna bring a little bit of that back. You know what, can I have a 220? This is, this is like a 320 and it's a little too. Did we? Awesome. Okay. Not that we opened the box or anything. We need to get this stuff in. Just 
slightly go across the front. Take the brightness right out of it. I'll let Sue slide that in and I'll do the next one and then we'll move you back. Just gonna make sure if there's any dry. No, nope, we all look good. Some of the brightness will come back a little bit when we when we top coat it. How's it looking, Sue Ann? Looks pretty neat. Now I don't think I'd recommend this on an entire dresser, but the drawers are cool. And you could even do it just on you know a couple accent drawers. So you want to put that in and I'll move the camera. Georges it up. It adds a pretty cool character to it, right? So I've got two more drawers to do, and uh, I will work on those, and then you will see, we'll paint the top again. Let me move this up. Okay. what it's going to look like. We're going to um, seal this. I'm going to do the other two drawers to match. We're going to repaint the top black and give it all just a good satin top coat. Um, normally I like flat out flat, but we're going to do satin this time. I think it just makes more sense with the pattern. A little bit of sheen, a little bit of shine. Um, I think that's what's going to look good. So watch for this to end up on our feed this evening or at the latest tomorrow. If um, we have handles, because i got to find the Oh, that's true. We do have to today. find handles for here. But I think we do have some handles that will work over there because I don't mind the old school I just don't like the particular ones that were on here so I may actually go with like the Batman wings if they're black if we spray paint them black or the colonials the colonials yeah I think those might be cool anyway we'll find good handles for on here and get this piece ready so it'll hit the floor this weekend and I hope that you have enjoyed our makeover if you are watching us on YouTube please be sure to like and subscribe and if you're watching us on Facebook come and see us on YouTube you should get some stencils and play with stencils this weekend. Yeah, I will have a... Just give it some ideas. I will have a, um, a list of all the supplies that we used in the description below by the end of the weekend. Otherwise, I think we did good. I think we did pretty good. I think it was pretty fun. Teresa, we don't need you anymore. Oh, don't say that. Guys, <laughs> everybody's laughing behind us. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and we will see you on Monday for Makeover Monday. Makeover Monday. Bye. Bye.